<laughs> well, that didn't work. Well, what do I do now? Put that down. Let's see if I can put this guy's well. I'm gonna take that out <laughs> because that didn't quite work. All right. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna make all this bleeding stuff because I'm bleeding all over the place. And I'm gonna get um, proper for piercing jewelry because mm, I guess that wasn't the right stuff I mean it didn't hurt so that's a benefit to this experience oh, this was a nice handkerchief that's alright that's not that nice He's is covered in blood. This might be too, too real for uh, YouTube. <clears throat> All right. So what happened here was that um, I didn't watch enough videos about what to do, and. Uh, I was like, ah, it'll be fine. Well, the the, the needle fell out because I was trying to take video and I was getting the ankle wrong. And um, hopefully, this won't get infected. So I'm going to go ahead and order some um, of those, what are they called, um, they've got the tails on them, um, that you like stick up inside your nose and L things, L things, L things, anyway, I'm going to order some of those, I'm going to properly pierce my nose, this was fun. Uh, and like really surprisingly didn't hurt keep looking at my eyes instead of like the camera lens because um, well I'm looking at my nose that is still bleeding alright well at least I know I can do it no big deal piercing needles I have are, you know, good and sharp and, you know, come in a package. Um, I can put all this in my sharps container. Because you always got enough sharps container if you're doing tattooing or piercing. I'm definitely not a piercer. As you can, uh, as you can tell, because I'm now like bleeding everywhere, and it didn't work. It's alright. I don't mind failed experiences. Failed experiments, not experiences. This was not a failed experience. This was a very good learning experience. Um, you know, I'm sure that would be like, stop. 
But remember, I mean, this is a, this is, this is what you would call, like, a really good learning experience. Because I failed. And I consider, um, I consider failing just as good of an, of, um, oops, just as good of an experience, change this light, there you go, just as good of an experience as, um, you know, doing it right, because now I know that I need to, um, I need to um, pierce more straight. Not much blood inside. It's kind of surprising. I cleaned it really well, really well, before I got um, before I I went to try and pierce. This one I'm just cleaning off the little marking. So. Thanks for coming along on my stupid little adventure. Now I just have to let that heal before I... Um, before I try again. I mean, I guess I can try again on the other side, but... I'd rather do it both at once. What, one time, you know? It is still bleeding. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Not that one. Um, so if you have um, a Visine, if you have Visine, so you got to remember that that makes the capillaries in your. Um, and your eyes get smaller, so it has um, good capillary action uh, as far as like reducing the size of your capillaries. It's also sterile. So it is a good a good styptic. I'm just using it to clean up the blood around my face. There we go. I'm just going to leave that on there. That was quite a ginger. My nose doesn't really hurt that much. It's just like, it feels like I had a pimple or something. Guess we'll see how it heals. I will do my best to make it heal correctly. Yeah, it stopped the blood. Cool. Um, so yeah, that is my, my failed um, piercing experience. Thanks for coming on this adventure with me. Uh, hopefully next time I will have the correct um, piercing jewelry. And I will just go ahead and stick the jewelry in my nose and be done with it. And no big deal. That is my plan. That is my plan. Thanks. Bye.